Uh, Nora, one question. When you factor in the deductions and the exemptions, will corporations pay a slight increase in the amount of money they pay in taxes? They probably will, Charlie, because the uh, Treasury Department is also proposing a minimum tax on U.S. corporations so that they would have to pay something. In the end, though, the goal from the Treasury Department, and they've been working on this proposal for a long time in coordination with a lot of corporations who have long said that this corporate tax rate is outdated, it should be changed, it should be scrapped, it makes us uncompetitive, it should, it should make the system simpler and fairer. Nora, thank you very much. With us now, Jack Welch, former CEO of General Electric and founder of the Jack Welch Management Institute. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. How are you? So tell us what it means that the Dow Jones has had this uh, success that it's had yesterday, and does it mean, in fact, that the economic recovery is underway? Well, it is a reflection of the better economic times that we have seen over the last uh, uh, five months or so. There's no question the economy is picking up. You've, you've seen it in all, all the numbers. It's even moved in the last uh, a few weeks into the construction area where you're seeing a glimmer of hope where there hasn't been any light at all. Because of housing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you look at what the president is proposing, you have been a uh, longtime advocate of lower corporate uh, taxes. Is the president going in the right direction as far as you're concerned? Clearly he is, and it's, uh, th th this is the political season, as you know better than anybody else, and we're going to have dueling uh, tax proposals, and uh, as lo long as they go in this direction, it's all good. But there won't be anything done this year. Speaking of this, uh, speaking of taxes, I want you to listen to this soundbite of Governor Christie uh, on television last night. Here it is. How many billionaires are there in New Jersey? Don't know the answer to that question. Roughly. I really, I'm not a clue. But they're all How about this? The top 1% of people in New Jersey pay 41% of the income tax. But are all the billionaires in New Jersey under this plan going to get a 10% income tax reduction? Everybody will get 10%. Every you know person. where I'm going at with that. I understand where you're Warren headed. Warren Buffett keeps screaming to be taxed more. Yeah, well, he should just write a check and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you agree with the governor of New Jersey or you agree with uh, Warren Buffett that there ought to be more tax on the super rich? Charlie, I, I paid over 30% every year. It depends on where you come from. If you're in a corporation and you, and you get a W-2 form, you, you pay 28 to 35%. If, you, if you're an investor, you get a different number. It depends on where, where we want to go. I, I don't feel undertaxed in any way at all. Uh, when, but most of the people that you in, are in your economic bracket tell me they're prepared to pay more taxes if, in fact, they could be sure where the money was going. Well, I mean, that's, a, that, that's an uh, argument that pe people have. And uh, uh, if we thought it would go to de deficit reduction and not more uh, silly programs, maybe, maybe that would be a good argument. What do you see as the crucial issue in the Michigan debate between Rick Santorum and your candidate, Mitt Romney, the man you have supported? Uh, I think it's going to be a depend, uh, it's going to depend on, on who has the best economic program, who in fact uh, can assure the American people that they're interested in jobs, creating a better, better economy, jobs for everybody. And I, and I think the Republicans have gotten a little bit off the jobs mm. kick in the last two weeks, whether it's the, me, the me media or their own message. You mean focusing on social issues? Social issues. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to be constructive in this debate. Could gas prices be a big issue for the president if, in fact, they continue to rise? Well, the president's get, getting a, a bit of a break here, Charlie, uh, in that natural gas has dropped precipitously. It's now uh, two and a half dollars per million BTUs. And you know, over 60 million homes in America are heated with natural gas. So they're seeing a, a wonderful tax uh, income break this year. Uh, but of course, gasoline prices have always been a political hotbed, whether it's Republican or, or a Democrat, and the Republicans will use it to their advantage. If we, we see numbers over four dollars across the spectrum. Uh, if Rick Santorum wins in Michigan and becomes the nominee, can you support him? I, 
Oh, I will support any Republican not, uh, nominee against the current incumbent. Uh, do you believe, as uh, Speaker Gingrich said here yesterday on this program, that, that it's important in the interest of national security to defeat President Obama? No, I, 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 that's something I'm, I'm not going there. I, I'm talking about the economy, about more jobs for more people, a better society. I'm all there, and I'm not into uh, uh, the foreign policy issue. I, I think the president's done a reasonable job in foreign policy. It's one, in, in my opinion, it's been one of his strongest areas. But you believe an economic recovery reflected by the stock market may be underway? Oh, I, I mean, Charlie, we have printed seven trillion dollars of money in the, since 2007 around the world. In the last six months, there's been 103 easings in, 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 in financial policy to enhance growth. Everyone is pumping, is priming the pump. And so this economy and the global economy is going to recover. Greece, look, look, look what they've just done in bailing out Greece. So uh, the economy is going to recover. There's no question. From Florida, Jack Welsh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Charlie.